Happy Friday! Today we are doing something that I have been wanting to do for the two and a half years we have lived here, and that is visit Bio Museo, the Museum of Biodiversity of Panama. And if you know me at all, you know that I am a science teacher and biology is my thing. In fact, our property in Bocas is called Ojo Bio, and the Bio stands for Biodiversidad. So biodiversity, I'm all about it. So I'm really excited to get inside today and see what's going on at Bio Museo. If you want to visit places like this with me, when I have no idea what I'm getting into really, because that's how we roll on this channel, make sure you hit subscribe, make sure you click the notify bell, and don't forget to join the IGO Panama Facebook group. That's where you're gonna find over 20,000 people asking questions and answering questions about anything and everything Panama, whether you live here already, you're looking to move here, or if you just wanna come on vacation. All right, so let's head in to Bio Museo and see what there is. Okay, so as of May of 2023, when I'm visiting, here are your prices. You've got uh, this column here is for Panamanian citizens and residents, of which I am one, so I get the cheap price. And this is for non-residents over here. Okay, we're in, and I can already tell I am about to be in love with this place. Everything, just so you know, is in Spanish and in English. And I'm not showing you everything. You want to see this place, you need to come pay your money and support what they're doing here because the biodiversity of Panama is extremely important. Okay, I'm gonna start going through, see what I can find, and I'll catch up with you a bit later. Okay, you just come around a corner and there's this. It's on another floor to learn all about it. And I think it's gonna talk about Panama being a land bridge between South America and, you know, further up in North America. That's going to be exciting educational stuff. An awesome movie theater room all about the biodiversity of Panama. What else? Even the floor is a movie screen. Okay, so the next part is going to take us through like 70 million years of Panama. And as you can see from the map here, there is no Panama 70 million years ago. It was under the sea. And these are rocks of the foundation, I guess. Let me see. This specimen is about 70 million years old, this rock. It's one of the oldest rocks in Panama. It's pillow basalt, so when, um, Volcanoes under the ocean are erupting. It creates this pillow of salt, and as it builds and builds and builds, um, then that's how you can get land. So I've only walked, you know, a few dozen feet, and I've already gone about 67 million years. So <laughs> three million years ago, Panama became a land bridge. And when it did, all these little critters that I saw earlier started moving across it. It's just so cool. So now I'm in the middle of where the worlds collide as the animals come across. This, interestingly enough, was the first rooster in Panama that started crowing at 3 a.m. and can now be found in El Valle. <laughs> you think it's a chakalaka? I think it's a rooster. <laughs> okay, hold on. You have to see this picture that my daughter-in-law took. Hold on, oh. show it up. <laughs> I travel with these people. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This gallery so far is my favorite. And this thing here, he's huge. Brian, stand next to my armadillo turtle. Look how big that is. I, I have named him Armadillo Turtle because he kind of looks like an armadillo and a turtle. But he's extinct. But he's my new spirit animal. I love him. 
So millions of years of all of those super cool animals, and then only 15,000 years ago, things like this creature appeared in Panama. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> appeared in Panama, and just look at the destruction they've done in 15,000 years. It's kind of depressing. Yeah, this will be my least favorite part because I kind of hate people. Not only do they talk about preserving biodiversity here, they freaking live it. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's water fountains, okay, that have a water bottle refill, and then it tells you right here, like, how much uh, plastic waste has been saved by using this. That's awesome. All right, so now we've come through the, like, history of the people and all of that. And now this, I guess, is like the divided ocean. Maybe that's what that means. Oceanos divididos. I don't know. I don't know. I never know. I just go and see and then take you along. Okay, I was right. And I'm sorry, but I'm filming this on my phone because we're not going to get into it. But sorry for the low quality. But uh, so, yeah, on one side, this side is Pacific. And on the other side is the Caribbean. So they have aquariums in here. Look at this, it's absolutely stunning. And having been in the aquarium industry for over 25 years, I'm super picky. I notice everything and I'm extremely judgmental. So I will go through and tell you exactly what I think about their aquariums here. So another cool feature that they have here are tons of touch screens that Brian is gonna demonstrate for us. So you can uh, have it in English or you can have it in Spanish. And then he walked off, but <laughs> Like you can push more colors here and then a little pop-up screen will tell you all about whatever it is. So it's a really fun, interactive, educational experience. And check out this aquarium. Yeah, it's the same. I mean, that's like three stories high or something. It's beautiful. Welcome to the Humans Suck display for the oceans. This one's caught all up in a bunch of fishing line, pollution and trash. This turtle is getting ready to eat a plastic bag and it has a six pack ring wrapped around it. Come on guys, we have to do better, every single one of us. Okay, from the ocean section, now we're going to go and explore the forest more interactive exhibits. Uh, this one, you pick up a little audio phone and it tells you to like, look up and see different things that are on display and then it talks about it. Okay, in this fourth section, you have to listen or read every one of these exhibits because it's super interesting, just like one to two minute facts about nature and talking about the relationships of different organisms. It's very, very interesting. Hello. So now we're coming to, oh, now it's like a stepping thing. I don't know what's going on here. It says to, let's see, what's it say? Step on the icons and discover Panama. Oh, and this is the top of the aquarium. Look at the little puffer fish. Him's a cutie. Oh, I see. Here. Step on where it says the shoes. Something happened, but I'm confused. There it is. The, the, explore the La Cruz Trail, like a hiking trail. And, oh, he stood on, he stood on another one. Something happened. That changed. I don't understand what's happening. That's cool. So then there's a, uh oh, the school kids are coming. Okay, <laughs> there's a whole exhibit here about climate change and what you can do to help prevent it and what it's causing. And there's a lot of information, but I'll just give you this part because that's the most important part. 
And if you don't believe that, unsubscribe from my channel. Bye. Now we're moving into another section called Panama is the museum. So let's go see what they have to say about that. So I think that this is the last exhibit and it is like a space exhibit. Um, it's a EU Copernicus um, kind of exhibit, but this one's all in Spanish. So it looks like maybe satellite photos from Copernicus of Panama. So I guess they change the exhibits in this room often, so you just have to look on the website and see what's here now. Okay, we've completed our tour of Bio Museo, and it took us about an hour and a half or so, something like that, to go through and see all the exhibits and read the information. We didn't read all of the information. I could see this easily taking two hours um, if you have the time, and I definitely recommend you come here because it's pretty fantastic. It's better than I even thought it was going to be. I do have one complaint though, one needs a better gift shop they totally could have sold me a t-shirt or something but they had like two t-shirts here so get a better gift shop be on museo i want to give you my money all right so until next week have a great one come visit the museum of biodiversity here in panama city on the famous amador causeway and i'll see you next week